Tesco is such in a very unique position in, in South Africa. We, 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 we walk a very thin line between sustainability from a funding point of view and making sure that we keep the lights on. This is what we spend our whole lives debating and making sure that we, we, we play that properly because it's no good trying to go and secure supply and you've got an insolvent company. That's no good for anybody. But if you can look at our, our estimates of where uh, the capacity that's required is that if by 2028, we as ESCOM estimate that we need another 50,000 megawatts onto our grid. ESCOM today is about 41, 42,000 megawatts, so it's another ESCOM and more. 10,000 of it is to replace ESCOM's aged fleet. ESCOM's program in terms of Ngula, Ndupi, and Kusile and the transmission associated is only focused right now to 2017. And it's only focusing in delivering 12,300 of those megawatts. Beyond that are decisions that the government is busy with in terms of its RP2 in saying what technology do we need and who will provide it post uh, 2017. Because it's one thing that we are very certain of in ESCO is that we cannot be the supplier of lost resources that the independent power producers have to enter our market given the size of this challenge. Our funding gap, given the 2017 I spoke about, right in the corner there sits at 190 billion rand. So for the next seven years we face a 190 billion rand funding gap. But I need to point out one or two things. The first is that over here you will see a capital expenditure and you will see a number of 693 billion. Included in that 693 billion is 140 billion of capital expenditure to which ESCOM has not committed itself yet. That is our estimate of what needs to be starting to be spent in 2014 for the technology beyond Kusile. And what we're saying as ESCOM is that needs to be taken out of our funding model. Because if we take it out, our shortfall over here is 50 billion. It's still 115 billion after three years because this expenditure only comes at the end. But it gives us a focus at ESCOM that we can ensure and find solutions to achieve the 50 billion after seven years with a bridge, a big belt curve in the middle, but that's what we need to focus on. The new technologies beyond Casilla, once the government comes out in RP2, have to be done in a different manner. ESCOM cannot be expected to try and fund it off its balance sheet when it has no cash. And ESCOM and its board of directors and its management will not commit themselves to start spending money on capacity beyond the without any funding in place.